Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The topic we're going to be covering today is what you need to learn in order to become a programmer. The number one thing that you guys should be focusing on in order to really, really, you know, enhance your learning and to become a programmer, especially if you're just starting out. So a lot of people think that it just takes syntax. If you can learn a language in and out, you know, everything about JavaScript, everything about React and all the frameworks and you know all the syntax, you're going to get a job. Right. A lot, a lot of people ask questions like, hey, what do I need to learn about JavaScript to actually get a front end job? How, how well do I need to know JavaScript? Right. And don't get me wrong. While you do have to know like the syntax of a language, you do have to know a language very well to, you know, work professionally with it. That's not all it takes. And it's something that a lot of people um, really forget about when they when they're just starting out how to code. What you have to understand is when you're hired as a developer, right? You're not expected to know everything about a language. So you're a front-end developer. You're not expected to know everything about JavaScript. What you're expected is that you know JavaScript to a certain degree, but what you really can do is take your, your knowledge, take the concepts that you know, and use them with logic to solve a problem or to get to a certain desired outcome, right? You want to be able to build a whole program, not just write a line of JavaScript code. You want to be able to build, fix bugs to lo to like inspect your code, look through all the code, all the logic, everything that's going on, use the concepts that you know about JavaScript, not just what a function in a for loop are, and really kind of know your program in and out to be able to build a comprehensive program. Really what you want to be able to do is use logic, right? So that you can use your code use coding, right? Use programming to solve a problem. Let's say you're building a to-do list, right? Not only do you have to know how to use JavaScript, that's not all it takes. You have to really build the logic of your application, right? You have to be able to add something, right? Add something to the to-do list. You want to be able to remove something, right? What happens when there's nothing on the list and you try to remove? What happens if you reach the cap and you try to add something? What happens if the database for some reason reaches like some kind of some kind of limit? There's a lot of things that take that you have to take into account when building when building an application other than just knowing JavaScript. For example, let's say that you're on the street and someone comes up to you and asks for directions. You can't just say like let's they're like where's the McDonald's, right? You can't just say it's on first the intersection of first and second street, right? Because what if they don't know where that is? What you would do in your head is, you know, you'd get directions. You say, go down first, go take a left on third and then take a right on second and you're going to be there. Right. So you you come up with this in your head and you kind of have this logical way of thinking in order to make the process easier. And this is the same kind of approach you have to have when programming, because all you're giving all you're doing when you're programming and when you're coding guys going to take the curtain off, uh, you know, and unveil the secret is you're just giving a computer instructions. You're just giving the computer a certain set of rules and a logic to just follow. And most of the time, it, unless you have bugs or, you know, something else goes wrong with the server, or whatever it is, the computer is going to do exactly what you tell it to do, right? If you tell it to follow a certain amount of rules, it's going to follow them. It's not going to ignore you. It's not going to say, nah, fuck off, John. I don't want to do that today. It's going to do exactly what you asked it. So that's all you do when you're coding. You're just writing rules, writing logic. And then it, the computer follows your code. So of course you have to understand the syntaxes, you know, the semantics of a certain language, but you, the real engineering comes in when you're using logic so that you can code and solve problems. That's where the really exciting stuff happens, guys. A lot of like, you know, new developers, when they run into a certain problem in their code, instead of going through their code line by line in exploring all the different options that, you know, they're telling the computer, exploring the logic of the application they build, often they're just going to try and, you know, find some kind of new, cool, fancy, fancy feature that they can add in order to fix the problem where, at, where really in reality, you already have all the knowledge you need and you just have to reevaluate your code and take a look at the logic, take a step back and kind of, you know, just re just reevaluate what you've written. And the only way to get better at this, the only way to get better at using logic is to build applications. You want to start small. You want to start very small, especially if you're just starting out to code, guys. I can't say this enough. I've mentioned this in other videos. You always want to start very small, like a simple, simple, like to-do list app, like I said. And as you get experienced, as you get more experience with like the logic of an application, then you can build something bigger. Don't just start off with Airbnb. And you really want to see, let's say you're building a to-do list app. You really will get an experience of the rules you give the computer how it follows those rules and then the outcome you get. And as you get more experience with this, you're going to be able to build more complex logic into your application, right? So the, one of the biggest things you can do as a, especially it was when you're starting to learn how to program is to understand how important logic is 
in your application. All coding is, again, guys, you're writing a set of rules, you give it to the computer, and it does exactly what you tell it to do, right? So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this, this video. I know it's kind of a hard thing to grasp at first, but let me know what you guys think, if you agree, if you disagree. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Really, really try to get good at logic, guys. Try to practice like using logic in your code. So I hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy your coding and take it easy. Whoop. Computer's gone. See ya.